Alright, you should have this on. No, no, you can't sit in this row. You gotta move. Okay, you have to wait 20 seconds. And then lipless. Water here. Lipless. A refresh. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, it's working. It's recording. I'm thinking, should we take out the chair? Yeah. Can you leave like one chair there? I think take out this row. Oh, okay, sure. Just keep the kids on stage. Okay, no problem. <laughs> and then it's live right now. So. Okay. Can they hear us though? Yeah, they oh, can hear us. Okay. okay, no problem. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we're gonna take out the chairs. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. 
Why? Why did they have the seasons? Oh, so they can yeah. have the That's a good idea. That's a weird idea. No. No. Why is it like. Daddy, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So they have. So they have. Just a little bit. Why? Why me? I can't morning. hear you. I know. Good morning. 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 Yeah. All right. Well, let's start. Okay. They haven't fixed that clock yet. So I'm like, wow, this is super early in the morning. Okay. Let's close our eyes. Um, Father God, thank you so much for another beautiful Sunday. Um, I know it's looking a little bit more empty than normal, but I pray that that will not stop us from praising with our whole hearts and still having an amazing time praising you and worshiping you. And be with us this Sunday, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So let's stand up. Um, can we turn the TV in the back on? And do you guys know what we're talking about this month? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. What does that mean? <laughs> in your own words, what do you think forgiveness means? Yes. When someone does something wrong to you, but then you um, say yeah, like, it's okay, you know, even if they wrong you, just letting it go to show love. So our first song talks about that. Um, it's called Totally Transformed, right? We want to be totally transformed with a renewed heart. And that's what happens when we forgive people, right? We show them love, and we feel love too. So let's start with this song. And it's going to be like a repeat. Oh, do you need your microphone? <laughs> okay, let's start. And I think it starts off with some robot moves. So, everyone stand up. Let's stand up. Okay, let's see your robot moves, everyone.
can't do the motions, then let's at least stand and sing the words together. Right, Kino Kids? So our next song is called Wise Up. And that also ties into our theme because for goodness, sometimes that is the wise thing to do. Right? So let's stand up and we'll sing a song together. And we have the music back on, so that's good. <laughs> Thank you. 
Brussels Creed. Why is it different? And, all right, we'll start on the count of three. One, two, three. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You guys lost an hour of sleep, Paul. Who's tired? Raise your hand. Oh, you guys are not tired? You guys are Oh, no. Lost they are it. tired. You know, their hands are like this. I'm not even this. How high they are. Okay. All right. I know it's uh, daylight savings. We jumped an hour ahead. But it's good. We just get like a day practice so we won't be so hard tomorrow. Right? Oh, I'm so sorry. I know. Okay. So. I don't think we have a newcomer today. Yeah. I know we have a small group today, but it's okay. Um, all right, so be sure to take your March and April Bible Buddies. We still have Bible Buddies going on. You guys should check in with your teacher. Um, just tell her, hey, or him, hey, I did mine. Please give me a sticker and mark me off. Okay, so make sure you do that. We will not be having small groups until further notice. And so, um, we'll send the materials Yay. to you guys, okay? To home. All right. Uh, and no choir practice and no praise practice as well. So you guys get a little break, all right? Um, all right, let's do offering. Everybody stand up for your offering, please. Um, who's doing offering today? Anybody doing offering? Yes. Thank you. All right, everyone can stand up. Get ready for offering. Do, while we're waiting for the offering, guys, let's do a little stretch. So everybody, hands way up in the air, way up in the air, a stretch. And then to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. Okay. And then to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Okay, twist. And then twist to the other side. Okay, I think the offering guys are here. So, here we go. Guys, gotta help me out, okay? Thank you for singing along with me. 
We're going to uh, forgive each other just as you have forgiven us, Lord. And I pray that uh, as we listen to the message, we may learn more and more about you. Lord. We're going to pray. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to LM123. How have you been? Good. Good. Like your mess. Tired? tired? No, can't be. Tired. Don't be tired. Be lost no, it's the sunshine. Beautiful morning. Oh. Yesterday was kind of rainy. Oh. Don't you think so? Oh. Awesome. All right, today we are going to talk about a lot of stuff, right? Actually, a whole month long, we are going to talk about why it is so important to forgive. All right? And let's take a look at our forgiveness. Remember last time we talked about? Yes? I wasn't here. You weren't here? Okay. Who was here then? Most of you? All right. Okay, let's take a look at forgiveness. We're going to read it all together. Only second graders. Ready? You're going to read it one voice as a unison. All right, three, two, one. Decide that. Someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. Okay, it's okay. We are one hour ahead, that's why. Alright, third grader, can you read it all together? Come on, someone has a wrong disease. Alright, no, don't say no to us. Alright, let's read it all together. Three, two, one. Deciding that someone has wronged you. Doesn't have to pay. All right, first grader, it's your turn. No. No. Yes. Come on, first grader. They will help you. The first. No. Uh, when first will go? No. Can you pay yourself? All right. All right. All right. Okay. Well, given this. Three, two, one. Deciding that someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. If you think about this, forgiveness. If you think about this. Forgiveness is kind of a um, DIY project. You know what is? You know what it is? Do you it yourself. Exactly. Yeah, you know, if you want to forgive something, you just sit there and do, 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 do. no, you cannot do that. Exactly. He's very smart today, even though he's one hour less sleeping. All right. So <laughs> it is very important. You have to forgive. You have to decide to forgive. <laughs> You're not gonna sit there and do nothing and waiting for someone. Hey, whatever. Yeah, you're not gonna do that. You go to decide. And yes, it's not easy. We know that. And it is some are very difficult. So we're going to ask God to help us. Sure he can do it, yes? No. And he gave us a lot of tools to do that. Tools. Where's my tools? You know what? I remember. Speaking of tools, I loaned all of my tools to someone and they forgot to return it, I think. It's okay. I can't forgive them. Alright? So, maybe I need, I need, maybe you guys help me to find tools. Can you help me out? Yeah? Sure? Okay. Who wants to help me out? Me. I know where they are. You know where they are? Yeah. Okay. Alright. So. I need someone to help me out. Okay, you? You? Okay, green. I like green. Alright. Alright. I have one here, and I need another person who want to help me. Who has good sense of finding something? You? You? Maybe. You? Okay, you. <laughs> I love it. All right, I'm going to have two person up here. What the? And by the way, where's your teacher, by the way? I don't like you. Roy teacher? He's not here. Roy teacher. Roy teacher. Hey, what about you? Where's your right teacher? Right there. Okay, okay. I need teacher's guidance because I don't want them to fall, train, or clash each other. All right. All right, so I'm going to blindfold them. No, that's not fair. Okay. Oh, you have glasses? Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to blindfold them. I should have brought my red bandana. 
Yeah. Well, what's wrong with yellow bandana? Two yellow. All right. Okay. All right. Green and yellow goes together. Okay. That's funny too. Okay. Even though he's blinded, he's funny. Okay. All right. I'm going to blindfold them. Yeah. And then you're going to guide them. Whenever they're close to the tool I need, I'm looking for, you're going to say warmer. If they're away from and close to the uh, away from the tool, then you're going to say colder, right? Okay. All right, you guys ready, contestants? Yeah. Funny blinded man and cute little blind girl. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Teacher, you ready? Yeah. All right. Okay. Set, oh, when music starts, they're going to start looking for the tools for me, okay? And you're going to guide them, okay, audience? You're going to guide them warmer and colder, okay? All right. All right. When music starts, you're going to start. We don't know. Hey, we're not done yet. Can we say hammer? Okay, all right, let's find it. Let's find it. I'm looking for hammer. I'm looking for red. I'm looking for... <laughs> Girls, do you know where the tool is? You can have a girl right here. Ask the teacher. Ask the teacher. Yes, yes. Give us a tool and how we, how we can uh, forgive our others who are who have long us, long to us. Alright? So, you guys ready for Bible story? Yes? yes. No? Yes? Such a chunk of right? Alright. If I say yes, you guys say no. I say no, you guys say yes. I love it. Alright, so if you if you have a Bible, I hope you guys are ready for Bible story. Yes, 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 yes. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to I'm going to have Chongosan come up. And until then I'll see you next week. Bye! Hi Kate and kids. Hi. Did you guys have fun with the games? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is you know what time it is, right? Yeah. Not 8.39, but what time is it? Oh, you guys are getting better at it. What time is it in one loud voice you want to say it together as a church? What time is it? It's Bible time! 
Bible time. Okay, so can we all take out our Bibles? Where are our Bibles? Can we all take it out? And we're going to look at Luke chapter 19, verse 1 to 10. So where is Luke again in the Bible? Is it in the Old Testament or New Testament? New. Okay. So Luke chapter 19, verses 1 to 10. And if you have a hard time finding it, please raise your hand and the teacher will come over to help you. Luke 19, chapter 19, verses 1 to 5. <laughs> Who still needs help finding their uh, passage? Raise your hand if you need help from a teacher. Can we help a uh, student over there? Second grader. And over here too. Hello. Is so everybody found it? Who needs a little bit more time? Raise your hand. A little bit more time. We'll give 30 more seconds. Okay, everybody found it? We're going to all read it together. Uh, I will read one verse, you'll read the next verse, and we'll alternate, and the last verse, we're going to read it together. Verse 1 says, Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. Ooh, I'm sorry, I read two verses. You can read the next one. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was so he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him, since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. And all together, so he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. Okay, so Kingdom here, don't close your Bibles. Leave your Bibles open because we want to save the page and go back to it because we're going to read it and keep looking at our Bibles. And so when we read this passage, right, who are the main characters in here? Who? Zacchaeus. Can we all say Zacchaeus together? Zacchaeus. And who else is in the story? Jesus, right? And what was Zacchaeus' job? What does the Bible say his job was? A tax collector, right? Not just any tax collector, but a chief tax collector. That means he was pretty high up, right? And what did a tax collector do? His job was to collect people's taxes, right? So people would have to pay some money to the government and then he would keep some money for himself too. And do you think people really liked him because of his job? No, why? Because they took his money, right? They took, he took their money. So he didn't, they didn't really like him. And so we have our Zacchaeus somewhere. Where is he? He's somewhere around where is oh can you come up on stage our Zacchaeus? So the Roy teacher will be Zacchaeus for today. So the Bible says he was really short. So should he get shorter? Yeah. Yeah, right? It's too short? And so Kingdom Heroes, the Bible tells us that Jesus, he was, what was he doing? He was 
passing through. That means he was just going by and walking. And where is our Jesus? Where, where's Jesus? Jesus? Can we call out Jesus? <laughs> so Jesus was walking through, right? He was passing through. And Zacchaeus, he wanted to see who Jesus was. But because he was so short, he could not see over the crowd. And so what does the Bible tell us? What did he do? He climbed a tree. So imagine this is a tree that Zacchaeus, he climbed up on, right? And as Jesus, the Bible tells us, because he really wanted to see who Jesus was. Why? Because Zacchaeus, he heard a lot of things about who Jesus was and how Jesus was performing lots and lots of miracles and healing people and feeding, you know, the hungry and healing the sick and preaching about the kingdom of God. That Zacchaeus, because he heard about Jesus, he said, I must see who Jesus is. Who is this Jesus that everybody is talking about? And because Zacchaeus was so eager, so wanting to see Jesus, he ran. He climbed up the, the fig tree, right? The sycamore fig tree. And he, he was just waiting for Jesus to pass by. So what does the Bible say? Is that when Jesus reached the spot, he looked up, right? Where the tree was. Where who was at the tree? Zacchaeus was at the tree. And what does Jesus say to him? Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. <laughs> and so what does the Bible say? It says that he immediately came down at once and welcomed him gladly. <laughs> Let's stop here. Right? And so he came down immediately. How did Jesus know Zacchaeus' name? How do you guys think he knew his name? Oh, yeah, Jesus was just passing by Jericho, right? I think, why do you think Jesus knew his name? How do you think he knew his name? Because, um, because what? Because, um, Smart. Because Jesus is smart. Yeah. Jesus is smart, but you know who who is Jesus again? Jesus is the Son of God. God. And so you know Jesus, He knows all things. He knows everything. And do you know He even knows our names too? Yeah. And He knows everything about us. And so when we read, right? When that when Jesus told Zacchaeus to come down. Was Zacchaeus, was he happy? Yes. Yeah, he was really happy, right? But do you think everyone else was happy? No. No? Let's read on. So open your Bibles and let's read on to verse 7. All together on the count of three. One, two, three. All the people saw this and began to mutter. He has gone to be the guest of a sinner. So imagine, there was a lot of other people in the crowd. And out of everybody who's waiting and watching and seeing Jesus, Jesus talks to Zacchaeus, the tax collector, the chief tax collector that nobody likes, right? And do you think that Jesus knew that Zacchaeus was a sinner? No. Yes. Yeah, remember, Jesus knows all things. And Jesus even knows his name, right? Jesus knew that Zacchaeus was a sinner, but he yet he still chose to talk to Zacchaeus. And it wasn't even Zacchaeus who said, come to my house, Jesus. But it was Jesus himself who said, I must stay at your house. Jesus invited himself to stay over at Zacchaeus' house. Right? And so the people, they weren't happy at all. But Jesus didn't care if people were happy or not happy. And Jesus 
Do you think he still loves Zacchaeus even though he was a sinner? Yes. Yeah. When we look at Jesus, Jesus, he responds differently than how other people respond, right? Jesus, he loves and he forgives. And you know, how did Zacchaeus respond to all the people saying, Oh, Jesus, why are you hanging out with him? He's such a sinner. Like, don't hang out with him. They're all booing, right? But what was Zacchaeus' response? Let's look at the Bible. It says in verse 8, it says, But Zacchaeus, he stood up and he said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. Not just once or twice or three times the amount, but he said, I'm going to pay four times the amount. If I have done any wrong, why would he say something like that? Why, why would Zacchaeus say something like that? Why do you think? Why do you think? Maybe, yeah, maybe he stole money, but then he said, if I stole money, I'm going to pay it all back now, right? All the money I have, half of it, I'm going to give it away to the poor. Probably trying to be brave. Trying to probably be brave? Yeah, maybe. Right? You know, I think something happened. There was like a change in Zacchaeus' heart. Right? Because remember, did people like him? No. No, no right? No. They didn't like him at all. But who liked him? Jesus. Jesus, right? Jesus didn't just like him. He loved him. And he knew that there was sin in his heart. But he still chose to be like, I want to hang out with you, Zacchaeus, and I want to go to your house, and I want to be with you, right? And so there was something that changed in his heart, in Zacchaeus' heart. And he experienced, I think he experienced true forgiveness and love that only came, that only can come from Jesus. And so how did Jesus respond to Zacchaeus saying, I'm going to give half of what I own to the poor, and if I cheated anyone, I'm going to give four times back. It tells us, right, in verses 9 and 10, Jesus said to him, Jesus, what did you say to Zacchaeus? Today salvation has come to this house, because this man, too, is the son of Abraham. For the son of man came to seek and to save the lost. Right? That's what Jesus says. You, when Zacchaeus said, I'm going to give half of what I own to the poor, and if I cheated anybody, I'm going to give four times back. What was Jesus' response? Jesus' response was that salvation has come to this house. And what is salvation? What do you think salvation is, Kingdom kids? It is not just eternal life. But it is a knowing of who Jesus is, right? So can we read John chapter 17, verse 3 together? On the count of three, one, two, three. Now, now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. That's what it means. Jesus was saying that Salvation has come to this house because you now know who I am. You now know who Jesus is. And that's what eternal life is. It is to know Jesus, not just in the heart of the head, but in the heart. So can we thank our volunteers for being Jesus and Zacchaeus? And do you know, Kingdom Kids, what Jesus' mission was on earth? I'll give you a hint. It is verse 10. Right? To die. To die, right? But verse 10, what does verse 10 say? It says, For the Son of Man. Can we all read it together on the count of three? One, two, three. For the Son of Man came to seek and save the lost. That's why Jesus came. Jesus came, and his mission was to come and to seek and to save the lost. In Kingdom Kids, do you know who the lost are? Who are the lost people? Who's the lost person in this story? Zacchaeus, right? And do you know 
Who else is also the lost to? Oh. Us. Right? It's all of us. It's me. It's you. It's all of us. Jesus came to seek and to save us who were once lost, right? That's why Jesus came to to die on the cross for our sins, right? To forgive us our sins and to make us right with God. And so you and I, we are a lot like Zacchaeus too, right? Where we are sinners too, but Jesus, he comes to us. He knows us. He knows our names. He knows everything about us. And he comes to us just as we are. And he says, I want to be with you. And when we believe in Jesus and when we accept him in our hearts, right, there's something that changes in us. Just like it changed for Zacchaeus, it also changes us too. And so I want us to go over three points for us to remember. How many points do you remember? Three. Three. So can we all read the first point together? Jesus came to seek and save the lost. And number two, Jesus saves the lost by offering forgiveness. Jesus, he offers forgiveness and he gives forgiveness to anyone who wants to receive and accept that forgiveness. And last but not least, Forgiveness given to us by God through Jesus changes us. What does that mean? That means forgiveness. When we receive forgiveness from Jesus, that changes us so that we're not the same person that we used to be. Just like Zacchaeus, he used to be a tax collector where nobody liked him and maybe he cheated people of their money. But because he met Jesus and because Jesus forgave him and loved him, something changed in his heart. And so he was different now. He decided now I'm not going to live like I did before, but now I'm going to give and I'm going to love, right? And I'm going to repay like any wrong things that I have done to people. And so that's what forgiveness looks like. And so Kingdom Kids, I hope too that in our lives, that if we believe in Jesus, that we too would realize that true belief and faith in Jesus, it changes us, that we're not the same person that we used to be in the past, but that we're different because we know Jesus and we love Jesus and because we're in a relationship with Jesus. So Kingdom Kids, can we all close our eyes, put our hands together, and we're going to pray. I'll pray for us. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, so much uh, for giving us today and giving us your message. We thank you, Lord, for the story that we have learned about Zacchaeus and how, Jesus, you came to him and you came uh, to this world to seek and to save the lost. God, we too are like Zacchaeus where we, are, where we were lost, but that you have found us, Lord, and we thank you, Lord, that you love us, that you forgive us, that you have died on the cross, God, for our sins. And help us, Lord, to be reminded that your forgiveness and your love, it changes us. So I pray that, Lord, you would continue to uh, change and transform our lives so that we can be more and more like you, Jesus, every single day. We thank you and love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, Kinda kids, can we all say the Lord's Prayer? Uh, do we usually stand? No, uh, so we'll all do the Lord's Prayer uh, on the count of three. One, two, three. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is thy kingdom, and the power and glory forever. Amen. Okay, Kingdom Kids, we're all going to stay here and... Um,
We're not having small group today, but we're gonna watch a video uh, until our parents come. Super book. Super book. The earth was without force and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. that you would just be with us and that we would be able to feel your love today and um, be with us this week and in Jesus name we pray amen. amen all right so let's stand up and we're going to start with our first song which is called totally transformed and it's kind of like a repeat one so let's stand up and we're going to sing it together
word that we're talking about this month. Third grade boys, this is time to praise, right? So let's not talk to our friends. Let's try our best to at least stand up and sing the word. So what's the word we're talking about? Forgiveness. So this next song talks about wising up, using wisdom, and sometimes wisdom is learning how to forgive, and that is the wise thing to do. So let's stand up and let's sing song together. done unto you. So let's stand together and sing this last song for today.
Great job. All right, let's close with the Apostles' Creed. On the count of three. One, two, three. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome, uh, all Kingdom kids. Uh, we are glad you are here. You are very brave children. <laughs> okay, can you uh, share with us how is your family went this week? Uh, if you would you like to share your, uh, please contact Past Grace. Uh, email Grace in at sarang.com uh, Machi Emperor Bible Body is here Oh, you want to come on? Oh, come on Okay, do come on, come here please Oh, okay, oh, okay. Okay, come, come on. Don't be shy. <laughs> no, we we okay. want to ask him. It's okay. No, it's okay. Yes. Okay, yeah. No, no. Oh yeah. Let's go. Okay. Everybody's uh, here. Okay, don't forget, don't forget to read God's words every day. Okay, with this, uh, we are not having any small groups until further notice due to coronavirus. Okay, oh yeah, after service we watching the movies. Okay, no choir practice. Or sort of like praise team practice until photo notice. And uh, due to coronavirus, we are not having any any other meetings or church something uh, from Sunday worship. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, stand up. Yeah, we we do a point.
bow your head down. Do you want to pray for offering? <laughs> Dear God, thank you for this day. You have given us. Please use this offering to help you your kingdom grow. And please help us learn more about you from the message today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hello, Kingdom Kids. Hello. Who remembers who I am? Anyone know? Servant one. That's true. That is very correct. Yeah, I am Servant One, but who knows my real name? Servant One! That's not my real name! Servant One! That's not You think my real name is Servant One? Okay, well, I'll reintroduce myself. Hello, everybody! My name is Pastor June. Okay? So if you see me, if you see me around church, or if you see me anywhere here, you can just say hello, Pastor June, okay? Like, check. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we got the mic to work again. All right, so can anybody tell me what we've been learning this month? Forgiveness. Nice, you guys are smart. Who knows what forgiveness means? Anyone? Really? You want to read it all together? Why don't we read it all together, okay? On the count of three, out loud, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Deciding that someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. Exactly. Who here has a hard time forgiving? Raise your hands. It's okay. I have a hard time forgiving too. Who here thinks it's easy? Nobody? You think it's easy? It's pretty hard, right? Do you think we can forgive on our own or do you think God can help us to forgive? Who thinks God can forgive us? Or who think God who thinks God can help us forgive? Absolutely. You are so right. You know, and sometimes forgiveness is hard, right? On our own. It's so hard to forgive at times because when someone wrongs us, how do we feel usually? Happy. What's our emotion? We feel happy. Yeah. Really? Wow, you guys are so nice. <laughs> So when someone wrongs us, we usually feel sad, right? We usually feel sad or who feels mad sometimes? Right? Yeah, exactly. We feel mad sometimes. But, you know, did you guys know that, you know, sometimes if you think about it, forgiveness is like a DIY project. Who knows what DIY means? Anybody? If you know this, I'll be pretty impressed. Who? Right here, what do you think? Do it, do it yourself. Exactly. Who's ever heard of that? DIY. Do it yourself. Exactly. So why do you think forgiveness sometimes is like a DIY project? Anybody know? Why? Any volunteers? Why? Why do you think it's a DIY project sometimes? It's wrong. It's Daniel I Y. Daniel I Y. That's not it. So it's a do do it yourself project because let's let's be real. You, you think forgiveness? If you don't want to forgive someone and you just sit down, relax on your chair, do you think you can forgive somebody? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. Right. If you if you want to forgive someone, you have to get up and actually want want to forgive someone, right? Why would sitting next to you? If they're sitting next to you, then you gotta still make an effort to try to forgive someone, right? So, you know, but did you know something very interesting? You know that God actually gave us all the tools to forgive? Did you know that? Actually, God, I have all the tools right now that God gave us. It's actually right here in my, it's, uh, oh, that's weird. It's, it was here like a couple seconds ago. It's behind. Where? What no, the? Did someone there. take my tools? Yeah. Hey, did you take my tools? Yeah. You did. Where'd you put it? Did you? Did you take my tools? Where'd you put it? We threw it away. In the sky. Oh my goodness, guys! I think I lost my tools that I need. You, I don't see. I don't see it. Where is it? My pocket. My pocket. Oh. Guys, I know what happened. In your 
You know, I think I actually let someone borrow it. One of the teachers here to borrow it, but I don't think they gave it back. You guys know where it is? You know what? Actually, then you guys can help me find it. Can I get two people? Let me get two people help me. Let's go. Let's see. You know, why don't you come out? You can come up. Yeah. Over there. Right there. Yellow sweater right there. Why don't you come up? Can we actually, and who's your teacher? Amy, can Amy teacher come up? Who's your teacher? Ron teacher? Oh, then can, can we get one more teacher to come up instead of Ron teacher? Anybody? Anybody? Say teacher. Ron teacher. Yeah? Okay, say teacher. Say teacher can come. All right, guys. All right, I'm going to need your help, okay? Here's what's going to happen. Teachers, you can blindfold the students. There you go. Make sure they cannot see. So what's going to happen is our two kingdom kids here, they're going to actually help me find my tools, okay? But here's the catch. They can't see anything because of the blindfold, all right? Yeah. So what's going to happen is the teachers are going to actually guide them and help them uh, find the tools for me, okay? Yeah. Can you see? How many fingers am I holding? Can you see? No. no? You want to make a guess? Two. Good, she can't see. All right, perfect. How many fingers am I holding? Good, you cannot see at all. Alright? Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. Once the music plays, um, they're gonna try to look for my tools, okay? And the teachers, students, you're gonna listen to your teachers, okay? You gotta listen to them because if you don't listen to them, you guys might slip and fall and we don't want that, okay? So make sure you listen carefully. Kinda kids, you think, you think they can find it? Yeah! Yeah? Right who thinks, who thinks, who, who do you think's gonna find more tools? The girl. Right here? Right here? If you think right here is going to find more tools, make some noise. Okay, that's not bad. If you think right here is going to make uh, find my tools. Okay, okay. That's good. Okay, that's pretty even. All right. Uh, all right I'm going to count to three and then I'm just going to stop, okay? One, two, three. Can we play the music? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Are they gonna find it? Oh, so close! Oh, she got one! She's been on. There's, there's gonna be more. There's three tools, okay? Look around. There's three tools. Do you see it? There's one on the table? Okay. Where's the last one? You guys see the last one? Nice. Alright. One more. Who's gonna get the last one? Who's gonna get the last one? Yeah. Alright. Come back. Let's have everyone come back. Yeah, you can take off your black bolts. Yeah. All right. So you're gonna tell me which tools you got, okay? So starting with right. a hammer. That's right. Thank you. Let's make some noise for here. This contest here. I found my hammer. Okay. Which one did you find? A what? A wrench and a screw screwdriver. All right, nice. Let's make some noise for this contestant. All right, okay. All right, great job, guys. Great job, guys. Okay, so now since I found all my tools, we all have the tools. Okay, we're gonna all share the tools. God gave all of us the tools uh, to forgive. So, are you guys gonna forgive this week? Yes. Let's try that again, okay? After I say that, you're going to respond, okay? Are we going to forgive this week? Yes! Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, with that, who remembers our very own most famous Pastor Grace? Who remembers her? 
Yeah, that's right. Okay. And then second, I'm going to invite her up, okay? So I want you guys to give her a round of applause and cheer for her. Okay, ready? Pastor Grace, can you come out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you third grader. Hi, Kingdom Kids. How are you guys doing today? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Great. Well, it's so good to see you guys all here today. And do you guys know what time it is? I know the clock is wrong, but... 11.30! You know you know oh, you guys are so smart, because I was giving you a trick question. I wasn't asking for the real time, right? But I was asking you what time it is. It is... Oh, no. No, it's not 10.30, it's not 11.30, it's double time. Yes. So remember, we all want to say it together, right? As one big family, we're all going to say it's Bible time. But we're not going to scream, okay, third graders? We're not going to scream. But we're going to say it in a loud voice. Are you ready? On the count of three, one, two, three, it's Bible time! I think you guys can do a little bit better than that. On the count of three, one... Two, three. Bible time! Bible time, right? So if you guys have all of your Bibles out, I want to see your guys' Bibles. You got your Bibles. And we're going to go through Luke chapter 19, verses 1 to 10. So is Luke in the New Testament or Old Testament? New, yeah. yeah, right? Matthew, it's in the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke. So Luke chapter 19, verses 1 to 6. No. So if you need help, keep that kiss, raise your hand and the teacher will come and help you find your Bible passage for today. Luke chapter 19 verses 1 to 6. And after we're done finding it, I don't want you guys to close your Bible, but hold it open, okay? Did we all find it? The third graders, did we all find it? Yeah. Second graders? Yeah. Yes. Okay, we'll give first graders a little bit more time. So I dropped the pencil. It's okay. Okay, are we all ready? We're going to read uh, one verse at a time. We're going to read the first verse, we're going to read the second verse, and we're going to all, and then the last verse, we're going to all read it all together. Are you guys ready? Okay. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see over the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. All together? So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. Okay, don't close your Bibles. Hold it open, right? You want to hold it open because you want to look at it later. And so Kingdom Kids, when we read this passage, right? Luke chapter 19, verses 1 to 6. Who are the main characters in this story? Jesus. Jesus and who else? Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. Can we all say that name together? I know it's a little hard. Zacchaeus, right? And so there was two main characters. And when we look at the Bible, what was Zacchaeus' job? What did he do? He was a tax collector. He was a tax collector, right? The Bible tells us that he was not just a tax collector, but he was a chief tax collector. That means he was like the boss of all the other tax collectors, right? And Kingdom Kids, when we read this, you know, what is a tax collector? A tax collector is somebody who, what? Collects, collects, money. Money. collects money, collects taxes from people, right? Because people, they all have to pay taxes. 
And so what Zacchaeus, the chief tax collector, would do, he would take some of, he would collect people's money, and then sometimes, you know, he would take his portion too. It's because he needs to make money too. And sometimes maybe, I don't know, maybe he would take more money than he should. But that was his job, right, as a chief tax collector. And Kingdom Kids, you think that people liked him? Right? But his job is to take people's money, right? So do you think people liked him? Yeah. No. no? If somebody took your guys' money, would you like that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right? No, not many of us would like it. And so he didn't have, I don't think he had a lot of friends. So nobody really liked him because of his job, because he would take their money. Right? And so... We're going to we're gonna kind of act it out and see, uh, based on what we read, Zacchaeus, where is Zacchaeus? Can he come on over? <laughs> so this is young teacher, right? But today, who is he? He is Zacchaeus, right? And so the Bible told us that he, was he tall? No. He was short, so I'm sorry. Zacchaeus, can you can you become shorter? Thank you, right? And so the Bible tells us when we read, right, in verses one and one through six. One through six, but in verses right three, he wanted to see who Jesus was, but because he was short, he could not see over the crowd, right? Why did why does Zacchaeus want to see Jesus? Yeah, because he's famous, right? Because they heard Zacchaeus and people, they heard so many things about Jesus, how Jesus was going around city to city, town to town, and how Jesus was healing people, how he was performing signs and miracles, how he was feeding the hungry, right? How he was healing the sick, how he was preaching about God's kingdom. And so because Zacchaeus heard all these things about Jesus, and the Bible tells us that Jesus was passing through Jericho. Zacchaeus said, I need to see oh, Jesus. I want to see who all, what Jesus is all about. So the Bible tells us that, I'm old, maybe this is too far. Zacchaeus, he ran ahead and he climbed a sycamore fig tree. So pretend this is a fig tree. Oh, maybe Oh, that's, maybe, yeah, just sitting on it <laughs> to be careful. He ran ahead because he wanted to see who? Jesus. Jesus. And so Jesus, Jesus needs to come for Jesus. Can we all shout out Jesus? Jesus. Right? When Jesus was walking by, you know, kids, when Jesus was walking by, he reached the spot and he stopped kind of right underneath that tree and what did he do he looked up and he said Zacchaeus come down immediately I must stay at your house today (laughs) (laughs) so the Bible tells us that Zacchaeus immediately he came down the tree and welcomed him gladly right and so, <laughs> and so when we read, right, that that Jesus he came and he looked up and he saw Zacchaeus. How, how did Jesus know Zacchaeus's name, right? How do you guys think he knew? Because he's Jesus, because he knows everything, right? Jesus is who? The son of who? Son of God. So Jesus, he knows all things. And even though Jesus was just passing by, he knew Zacchaeus was up on that tree and he even knew what his name was. And do you know, King of Kids, that Jesus, he also knows our names as well? And he knows... Yeah, he knows exactly who your name is. And he knows everything about you. What if we change our name? Well, even if you change your name, he would probably know your name too. Because Jesus knows everything, right? And so, how did 
did, let me read the Bible. How does Zacchaeus respond to Jesus's? Welcome. He said he welcomed him gladly, right? You know, Zacchaeus, he wasn't the one that said, Jesus, come over to my house. Jesus was the one that said, I must stay at your house. I need to, he invited himself over to his house, right? But when we read in verse, verse 7, right? It says, all the people saw this and began to mutter, he has gone to be the guest of a sinner. Do you think people were happy? Do you think people were happy with Jesus wanting to stay in the home of a sinner? No. No, remember, did anybody like Zacchaeus? No. No, they didn't, right? They didn't like him at all. And so what did they say? They were muttering and they said, he has gone to be a guest of a sinner. And so they were kind of booing. They didn't like the fact that Jesus was going to his house. Right? But Kingdom Kiss, can I ask you something? Do you think Jesus knew that Zacchaeus was a sinner? Yeah. Yeah, Jesus knows all things. And despite the fact that he knew that Zacchaeus was a sinner, did he still want to go to his house? Yes, he did. Right? And so when we look at Jesus' response, right, of how even though he knew Zacchaeus was a sinner, yet he still wanted to go to his house, the Bible tells us, right, in verses 8, how does Zacchaeus respond? He says, But Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times. So he said, all that I own, half of it, I'm going to give it away to the poor. And if I ever cheated somebody and took more money than I should, I'm going to pay them back not one more time or twice, three times, but four times more than I took from them. And so something happened in Zacchaeus, right? There was something that changed and shifted in his heart because of Jesus, because he saw Jesus, because he knew Jesus, right? And there was something that changed in his heart, that in Zacchaeus' heart when Jesus came to him, that he experienced like a change. He experienced a forgiveness. He, for, he experienced a love that he didn't experience before. And because of that, it changed him to be somebody who would give half of everything he owns to the poor and to give four times more to the people he may have cheated. And so can we clap for our volunteers? And do you know how Kingdom Kids, how Jesus responded to Zacchaeus, his change of heart and his like new attitude and his response? The Bible tells us in verses 9 to 10, it says, Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house because this man, Zacchaeus too, is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Right? That's what that's how Jesus responded. He said, Salvation has come into this house because he saw the change in Zacchaeus. And so he says, salvation has come. This kingdom case, you know what salvation is? Salvation. What is salvation? Salvation. I'm sorry, what is salvation? Salvation. So, salvation. I, salvation, right? It is what? It is eternal life, but it's not just eternal life, but it is a knowing and a believing in who Jesus is. So in John 17, verse 30, can we all read it together on the count of three? One, two, three. Yeah. Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Right? So when we read this, we read that eternal life, salvation, it is a knowing of who Jesus is. Kingdom Kids, do you know who Jesus is? not just knowing here but you have to know him in the heart too and so that's why jesus says salvation a knowing a believing of jesus has come into zacchaeus's house 
And we read too that Jesus had a mission to come to earth. And do you know what that mission was? It's in verse 10. What does verse 10 say? Can we Yes, can we all read it together on the count of 3? For the sorry, 1 2 3 for the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. That was Jesus' mission, to seek and to save the lost. And in this story, who is the lost person? Who is the lost person in the Bible story we just read? Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus, yes. Right? He is the lost, and Jesus came to seek and save him. And Kingdom Kids, why does this story matter? Do you know who do you know who else is kind of like Zacchaeus? Me. Yeah. Like you, you, and everybody, even, even me too. That we are all like Zacchaeus because sometimes, right? Like Jesus came to save and to seek the lost. We are also lost. And we also need saving too. And so that's why Jesus. He comes to us, he knows everything about us, he knows our names, and he comes to us and he wants to save us. And when we get saved, there is something different that happens in our hearts. There is something different that changes in our lives. Right? And that's when when we believe in Jesus and we receive his forgiveness, something changes in us. Just like it changed in Zacchaeus' life, where before he was a tax collector that nobody liked and he would take people's money. Now, because he met Jesus, because he believes in Jesus, he changed, right? He received forgiveness and he changed and he is giving half of what he owns to the poor and he gets four times to the amount of money to the people that he has owed or cheated. And so this Bible passage, it teaches us and shows us that Jesus came to seek and save the lost. And it also shows us what true forgiveness and love looks like. And how forgiveness and receiving Jesus' love, it changes us to be different. To not be the same person we were before we met Jesus. Amen. And so there's three points I want us to remember. How many points? Three. three. Can we all read it together on the count of three? One, two, three. Jesus, Jesus came to seek and save the lost. And can you tell your neighbors next to you that Jesus came to seek and to save you? And point number two, can you all read it together on the count of three? One, two, three. Jesus saves the lost by offering forgiveness. Right? When we read the passage, all the other people in the crowd, all they did was kind of judge and point fingers and say, Jesus, you're hanging out with a sinner. But Jesus, he didn't respond like that, right? He offered his love. And he even invited himself over to Zacchaeus' house. And so Jesus, he also offers forgiveness to each and every one of us too. And so we must receive it, right? And choose to accept God's forgiveness. And last point, can we all read together on the count of three? One, two, three. Forgiveness given to us by God through Jesus changes us. So that means that forgiveness... Right? When we receive forgiveness, it changes us so that we're not the same person that we used to be. But we're actually more and more like Jesus. Right? Just as Zacchaeus changed, us too, we can change as well because we believe in Jesus. And we have re- received his forgiveness. So Kingdom Kids, we're going to close right now in prayer. So can we all close our eyes? Put our hands together and I'll pray for us. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, so much today uh, for your word, which is life and light, God, to our hearts and souls. And Lord, we pray, uh, thanking you, God, for your word today. Help us to remember that, Lord, you, Jesus, have come to seek and to save the lost, that you have come to seek and to save us. And we thank you, Lord, for 
uh, the salvation that we have in you, a knowing of who you are, Jesus, and we, re we receive your forgiveness. Help us, God, to uh, continually be changed and transformed through your word and through your spirit. We want to be more and more like you, Jesus, and help us to do, God, just that. We thank you and love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, we're going to all read the Lord's Prayer together on the count of three. One, two, three. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is thy kingdom and the power and glory forever. Amen. Okay, Kingdom Kids, we're not going to have small group today, but we're going to have a large group, so we're going to watch a movie and wait till our parents come to pick us up.